Let's go into weather. Kamaka Pili. It was a beautiful Halloween Eve. And if we take a peek into Halloween, let's just get this forecast out of the way because it's what we're all expecting or, or waiting for. Good news, first of all, in Hawaiian, we say Helewi for Halloween. We are expecting mostly clear skies. Those temperature around 70 degrees tomorrow night. We can thank the light winds and a light chance of shower activity. And that's for most of the state. In terms of those uh, cloud coverage, we're expecting potentially maybe up to 30% of cloud coverage for the areas that will be seeing the most clouds. But other than that, beautiful skies expected. That's what we're seeing tonight. It was a beautiful day. A lot of sunshine and blue skies popping through today. That a little different for friends and family on Kauai. If we're taking a peek for our threats tomorrow, it really just remains in our oceans. Our oceans, uh, in terms of the surf and our jellyfish, they're still going to be sticking around for at least for another day or so on the south-facing shores. That's where we're seeing some flat to two-footers, and that's along with the east. It's all about the north and west. Now, this high surf advisory goes into effect tomorrow morning at 6, lasting to at least Monday morning at 6, up to 18 footers for the north facing shores, 12 footers for the west. The only island that's not seeing any high surf advisory is the island of Hawaii. Now, these numbers are only uh, peaking today. They're going to start to diminish tomorrow as the swell starts to uh, leave the islands, but it's in its shadows where we're expecting yet another swell, a larger swell that could be bringing not advisory but warning surf uh, through the islands, and that's going to start moving in by Monday night through Tuesday. We're going to see that moving down the island chain. Now, today, a beautiful day mostly dry conditions with the exception of Kauai and that's really started to build this afternoon and to this early evening and that has to do with some activity that's taking place north of the islands. It's towards the west end of the state. We're seeing more of this northwesterly winds pushing all that moisture and cloud coverage down towards the southeast so that moisture could be reaching Oahu this evening but for the most part we're going to be expecting isolated showers with those winds, those makani. It's because of that cold front north of the islands. Fortunately we're not going to be seeing too much showers in a association with that. That's going to be moving off towards the east, but in its shadows, another cold front will be building by next week, Monday. So it's going to keep our winds light. We're not expecting the trade winds to return until Tuesday evening into Wednesday. That will then be sticking around for the latter portion of the week. In terms of our ua, not much taking place. What we've experienced today, similar conditions is expected for a Halloween tomorrow, and the good news is that trend only continues into the week ahead. It's the latter portion of the week, that cold front, that second cold front I showed you, that has the potential of moving down towards the islands and increasing the sh uh, shower chances then. But until then, tomorrow, county by county, the only place that's seeing up to 30 to 50 percent chance of showers is the windward side of Kauai. All the other places is only seeing up to about 20 percent chance cloud coverage, partly cloudy skies for Kauai and Hawaii Island, mostly sunny skies for the central portion of the state. Again, tonight, Kauai has been seeing some of those uh, more scattered showers, more intense showers earlier this evening, but that has then been moving down towards the southeast, so it could be reaching Oahu tonight, creating some increased shower chances here. But for the rest of the state, if we look through the list of rain gauge and the numbers it's been clocking in, almost nothing for every single rain gauge, especially friends and family on Hawaii Island on the Hilo side in particular. Now, the days ahead of us tomorrow and for tomorrow night for our Halloween, a beautiful evening. Please be safe out there. Trade winds return around Wednesday, up to around 20 miles per hour, so you can expect the showers then to refocus itself back towards the windward sides. And that's going to be sticking around, again, potential cold front, potential increased chances of showers the latter portion of this upcoming week. Have a blessed evening, everybody. Sam, back to you.